All right, now we're going to simplify this problem. Now I'm going to tell you, the way to start with it is just find one thing first. Don't try to find a final answer. Just make one change. Try to make one change. And some of the easiest things to do is to write things in terms of sine and cosine. I've got a sine. I've got a cosine. Can I rewrite cotangent in terms of sine and cosine? I sure can because cotangent is the same thing as cosine divided by sine. All right. So now let's go ahead and multiply these together. So we have that. Mm, now I'm looking at it. And all I can see is this. I got one that's not a fraction and one that is. Well, then let's make it into a fraction to see if we can uh, simplify something. I cannot cross cancel there because that's a plus. If that was a times, I could do that, but it's not. So let's get a common denominator. The common denominator would be a sine. So I would have to multiply sine over sine because that's still 1. When you multiply by 1, you don't change it. And if I multiply these together, I'll end up with sine squared plus cosine squared. Now I can put these two sines together like one term. Oh, what's sine squared plus cosine squared? Yeah, that's one of Pythagorean things. It's 1, so it's 1 over sine. And 1 over sine, oh, I can change that really easy to what? Cosecant. Hey, man, I simplified that all the way down to cosecant by simply finding something I could do to, that could simplify and adding the fraction together. It's like once you find one step, sometimes the second one's not as hard. But always try to find one.